Hello everybody and welcome to Wednesday's Reflexology Wisdom. And today we are going to work three ways of working the intercostal reflexes. So this is on the dorsal aspect of the foot. It's also the breast reflex as well. And so we're going to start with um, some lovely um, lymphatic drainage because of course you've got the uh, left subclavian and the thoracic valves that return lymphatic fluid to the bloodstream in this area as well. So we're going to put on a little bit of um, this lovely foot cream from Arno at Flying Wild. By the way, yes, it is product placement, but no, I do not get paid for this. I just love Arno's product, so that's that. So what I'm going to do is three fingers together, all in the same track, and we're going to little circles, working down and as you can see here I am working bilaterally. I love working bilaterally whenever I can. I think it's absolutely fabulous. Um, by the way you only need to go down to the point where you can feel the metatarsals joining. There's kind of like a stop that just sort of finishes just there. So you, if you were to run your finger down a client's foot you'll be able to feel that stop. Um, go any further and you're not working on that reflex anymore. Um, these um, metatarsals of course represent the ribs. So we're working the muscles right between the ribs. We're also doing that lovely lymphatic drainage as well. Okay, so that would be, you'd obviously spend an awful lot longer on it than, than I just have. And of course there is nothing to stop you if you are thinking, do you know what, but the uh, left thoracic and the subclavian valve are up at the top, there is nothing to stop you from sweeping upwards. There is no um, direction of flow as such in this part of the foot, so you can work any way you like as far as direction is concerned. There is another lovely technique that I want to show you that is soothing and also fabulous for lymphatic drainage. I'm going to stand for this technique and um, it is a sweep, 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 sweep. Nandina, if you can kind of uh, zoom in onto this. Mm -hmm. So you can see my, one thumb is coming behind the other thumb as I am sweeping down. Does that one feel nice? Mm. Good. So this is again a lovely lymphatic sweep. Really, really nice. So we're just going to finish this off on this foot and then we're going to do a different technique. So the third technique on the client's, on oh, Nandina's left foot. Very soothing. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's really, really good. Just I was <laughs> focused on the camera work to start with, so. <laughs> now you just can't help but enjoy what we're doing just here. Yeah. Good. Okay, so the last technique that I'm going to do is somewhat more of an actual work for the intercostals. We're going to place one finger slightly below the other and we're going to pull apart as we go down here. Oh, that's a bit pull more apart. intense. Yes, yeah, a bit more intense. We're yeah, working so on soothing. both the medial and lateral edge of the first and second metatarsal. So it's a, it's a finger walk, but it's a, um, a double-handed finger walk working either side. This is a really, really good technique if you are wanting to help um, wake things up a little bit. I know that reflexology does not turn on or switch off. It just returns to the optimal state but if you are wanting to um, invigorate, mm. if you're wanting to um, wake up, this would be the area to work. Are your thumbs walking down the back of the Hardly behind? at all, no, hardly at all. Yeah. Okay, so guys, that's three techniques for working the intercostals. Do remember that the intercostals are a fabulous reflex to work as well. If you've got somebody that is suffering from anxiety, if somebody can't quite get that 
full lung full of air because they're so anxious about something, this is the reflex to go to. So thanks ever so much for watching. Stay well, stay safe, and we'll see you next week with more Wednesday's Reflexology Wisdom. Yeah.